Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a daily routine. I'm gonna walk you through my day and share what a typical day looks like. And also I wanna give a special thanks to Otterbox for sponsoring today's video. I just wanna say I set my alarm for 6 a.m. every morning and then I usually take a few minutes just to wake up in bed. The very first thing I do every single day is get dressed immediately. I shower at night so I don't have to shower or anything. Today I'm going to my workout class so I put on some workout clothes and then quickly just wash my face, did my skincare routine, brushed my teeth, put on just a little bit of makeup because if I don't do it now it's probably not gonna happen. And then also last night I slept with my hair wet and I put it in two French braids and it turned out like this. I don't really know how I feel about it. It, but we're just gonna roll with it today. I'm usually the first one up. I prefer to wake up early before Scarlett and Ty just so I can have a little bit of me time and just get myself together and ready for the day before I have to start getting Scarlett together. So I usually go out to the living room and open the windows to let the sunlight in, except today we're having a very gloomy day, which we appreciate very much so here in Phoenix. Anyways, while my coffee is warming up, I went ahead and prepped Scarlett's breakfast, and then I'm gonna make myself a cup of Nespresso coffee. Make a love a story that would never Scarlett gets a multivitamin gummy worm by Ollie every morning, and then I also give her a Culturel Kids probiotic. Every day you're making me better, cause I love Scarlett usually wakes up around 6.30 and the first thing I encourage her to do is pick out an outfit. I always have outfits laid out right here in her bedroom and she's able to pick one of those for school every day. Also, she's in a dress right now because mama needs to do laundry and she has no clean pajamas. So that's on my to-do list today. Also, does anybody else deal with the hair struggles in the morning? Because we do. She just needed her braids touched up just a little bit before school because some of it had been pulled out while she slept. So I just had to fix it. She did not want me to fix it, but we did anyways. <laughs> Anyways, next it's breakfast time and I usually let her watch a cartoon or play a game or something while she's eating on her iPad. I want to quickly share a little bit about the case that we have on Scarlett's iPad. It's by Otterbox. My family has been Otterbox customers for years. After I recently broke my phone, I went out and bought myself an Otterbox phone case because I just trust them. Anyways, this is actually my iPad, but Scarlett plays with it occasionally too. And I just wanted to have some kind of durable case on our iPad. So in case it does get dropped, it's not going to break. And when I think durability, I always think of OtterBox. So this is actually their easy grab tablet case. It has grip ridges that are ergonomically designed to accommodate growing hands. I love this stand because it's very easy to bend so you can have multiple viewing angles. Kids are just so hard on technology and because because this is also my iPad, I really don't want this to break. So a durable case was definitely a must for us. Kids can angle it different ways, but the really cool thing about this is you can actually hook it onto the back of a car seat for easy viewing. We also have the OtterBox blue light guard glass antimicrobial screen protector on the iPad as well. And I love having this on the iPad because not only does it protect the screen, but it also blocks harmful blue light rays. It's shatter resistant, it has reinforced edges, and two times anti-scratch tech for vivid clarity. And then also we have the OtterBox Easy Grab mobile cable bundle, and this includes an audio connector cable and then also a power cable. The coil design avoids tangles, and it has like a thick durable stretchy cables. With Scarlett going back to school, we've really been working on certain things like sight words and uh, addition, subtraction, that kind of stuff. So I've downloaded a bunch of educational games to our iPad and she's really been enjoying playing these games and it's definitely teaching her a lot as well. But anyways, if you are on the hunt for a good durable case for your child's iPad, I'm gonna leave a link to the Easy Grab case with the multi-use stand down below in the description box along with the other two products by OtterBox. 
Our neighbor's cat always comes to say hi every single morning, so Scarlet likes to go give him some love. <laughs> <laughs> it is a cloudy, overcast day, and that is the best, yes, you can be done. That is the best weather for us. It feels absolutely wonderful out. I ate a lot of that. You ate your breakfast very well. Are you ready for school? Next, it's time for school. My daughter Scarlett is in kindergarten and she is just doing so wonderful. She loves school so much and we are lucky enough to live right down the road from her school. So I'm able to walk her or ride my bike while she rides her scooter. Uh, just depending on what's going on during the day, that's what we do. But typically she rides her scooter and I ride my bike when I take her. Every day is a little bit different when Scarlett goes to school. Sometimes Ty takes her to school. Sometimes I take her to school. I prefer to take her to school, but there's times when I'm not able to so he'll take her. So this part of my routine does change occasionally, but for the most part, I try to make it a priority to be the one to take her to school. Between school drop off and my gym class, I have a little bit of time to sit down and get a little bit of work done. I had to make a phone call to my OB today. Um, so I was doing that and then just going through some emails and then I'm going to get my water ready so I can take this with me to my gym class. Okay, Scarlett is at school. I just dropped her off. I actually had to take our neighbor to school today too, so I took her separately because she goes at a different time. So I had to run that random errand today, and now I'm in the car heading to the gym. I grabbed a Power Crunch bar to eat on the way. This is the chocolate mint. It's really good. I don't typically eat before I work out in the mornings. I just prefer not to. But today I am hungry and I went to bed hungry actually. We just don't really have any food in our house because we were gone this weekend. I need to go to the store. So I'm gonna eat this while I drive. I also have my water. I used to take pre-workout but I don't anymore just because I'm trying to cut caffeine and get my body used to limiting caffeine since I am trying to get pregnant right now and have another baby. Anyways, I'm gonna head to my gym class. I do a hit style workout class a couple times a week. If I'm not working out, then my schedule is slightly different. Okay, just pulled up to my gym class. It's actually raining outside right now. This weather is incredible. We don't get weather like this a lot, so when we do, it's very exciting. Okay, it is 10 o'clock. I just burned almost 500 calories, which is just wild. I am a sweaty mess. <laughs> My arms are shaking, but I'm glad that's over. Anyways, I am going to go run to the store really fast. Um, typically on days where I work out, I don't uh, like get myself ready. So <laughs> this is gonna be the extent of um, me getting myself together today. Nobody loves me better. Guess I'm just too scared to settle down. There'd be many nights I got too high and almost left town. But there's something about you, something about you I like, about you I like. I get too drunk. I 
I ran to the store to grab just some random things and then also to pick up a dinner for tonight. We are going to have one of my go-tos, which is just a baked spaghetti squash. So I got a spaghetti squash, a yellow onion, some of this marinara sauce, this is by far the best, and then also some ground beef. The other ingredients I already have. Um, and then I picked up some chicken nuggets for Scarlett, some Uncrustables for Scarlett, uh, some cereal. This is her absolute favorite. She's gonna be so excited. And then this is for me, frosted mini wheats. The little bites hit differently, they're so good. <laughs> Grab some milk for Scarlett, milk for me. I like almond milk. I'm gonna make a bagel sandwich for lunch today. It sounds so good. So I got some white cheddar, cheese, some Canadian bacon, and these bagels are awesome. They're the everything bagel, but they're the Dave's killer bread. These have 13 grams of protein in them, so they're just a better option when it comes to bagels or breads or carbs. I love this brand. And then I picked up some of these penne protein noodles. I'm gonna cook these for Scarlett tonight because I'll probably eat half of this, Ty will eat the other half, and then um, Scarlett can have the meat sauce with the pasta. And this is that um, thing I definitely didn't need from Target, but I saw it and I thought it was so cute. So um, it was 10 bucks. It's this cute little vase. And I thought it'd be pretty in our bedroom. Okay, it's 11.15, I just took a very fast shower to wash off my body, I brushed my hair, I put some actual clothes on, got out of my gym clothes, and now I'm gonna cook something to eat. I try to have some kind of protein after I get out of the gym. So I'm gonna make a bagel sandwich with these ingredients that I just bought at Target. Too drunk and too scared and lied to you If only you knew I would die for you One of us, one of us gotta say the After I had made my mid-morning snack slash lunch, whatever you want to call it, I went ahead and sat back down at my computer. I have a lot of editing to do today, so that's going to be my main work focus, I guess. I have a few things to do for our business we're launching soon too, so I definitely have a busy work day, but mainly today I'm going to be editing. It's currently 1.51. I've been at my computer for the past like two or three hours, and I am going to go do some chores now. I'm at a good stopping point, so it's time to do some house chores. If we were young and drunk in love A few years later I have started thinking If it's just love in every glass I'm drinking We're like one and without you I'm sinking I'm always shining next to you Oh, I got you our laundry room is a hot mess right now. I told you guys earlier, I have a lot of laundry to get caught up on. Not only do I have normal laundry, but we went camping this past weekend and I have all of the blankets and pillowcases and all of the camping clothes. So we are very backed up in laundry right now and I just need about three more hours in my day to get all this done. But I am just doing what I can when I can. But show me like this full of faces. Sometimes clouds got in our favorite places. We were young and unaware Oh, I got you, there's no reason to I got a couple loads of laundry done, but I had to go get Scarlett from school, so I went and picked her up, and then typically every day we go through her backpack. She always likes to surprise me, so that's why I'm covering my eyes right here, because she likes to uh, see my reaction to her work, and she's very proud of it, and I think it's very sweet. But after school, we always go through a backpack, like I said, and then we get snacks, and sometimes she plays with her neighbors, her friends, uh, or I'll spend some time with her, and we'll work on her flashcards, or play a game, play with Barbies, whatever. Um, I just try to spend some quality time with her after school if she's not playing with friends. So on this specific day, I had the worst headache that had developed 
right before I picked up Scarlet from school. And so I was trying to recover, but also spend time with her and play with her. So I was just laying down on the couch and she was so sweet playing doctor and trying to make me feel better. But I don't typically get headaches, so this was new for me. I think it's from the fertility medication I've been taking. Um, but anyways, Scarlett ended up falling asleep afterwards. I ran to do a few more loads of laundry and I came back and she was passed out. So she doesn't typically nap after school. This is definitely gonna throw our routine off just a little bit today. I'm back at my computer. It's a very heavy, heavy editing day. Um, typically I'm not editing this much, but the videos that I'm currently editing are taking a lot of my time and this is just how it goes sometimes. So I'm doing voiceovers and yeah, just trying to knock this out. Scarlett is still asleep. My entire night is thrown off now. Uh, we have to go get staples taken out of her head. If you guys remember, if you follow along with my videos, she cracked her head open at school and had to get some staples put in to help with the wound and we're supposed to go get them out today. We just need to go to a walk-in clinic. So we were gonna go do that, but she fell asleep. So I'd wake her up, but I also have a call with my midwife um, here in the next like 20 minutes or so. And so I figured I'd just let her sleep, take the call with Ty, and then we'll go to urgent care afterwards. So needless to say, dinner is not gonna be cooked tonight and that's okay. I'm not gonna stress about it. it, is what it is. It's just one of those days where we just, don't have time honestly so sorry you guys aren't gonna see that recipe um, my go-to recipe but it is what it is this is just life it's how my days go sometimes you plan something and not everything can be done you can't do it all that's for sure but if you guys do want to see how I make that spaghetti squash stay tuned I'll share in a vlog okay it's way later now <laughs> Scarlett what did we just go to <laughs> the hummingbird spot I got my stitches take them out she did so we and I'm I need to go in the bathtub. Yeah, we're gonna go take a bath. We were at urgent care for a long time. <laughs> a long time waiting to get her stitches taken out. Our and it still needs the heel. See, yeah. girl? Hold on. See? Yep. Our routine is totally thrown off. It is after 8. It's like 8.30 right now. I have so much work I still have to do. She needs a bath. I'm exhausted. I'm so tired, but... We're gonna just make it all happen. <laughs> right, Scarlett? Yeah. Okay, let's go get take a bath. I don't think I ever mentioned what we ended up doing for dinner. I just made Scarlett some chicken nuggets and she had some fruit and a few other things. And Ty and I ended up just ordering Chinese food. So just one of those nights, it is what it is. It's definitely been a long day as you guys can see. But anyways, we got Scarlett a bath and now we are reading her a bedtime story and trying to get her to bed. After Scarlett went to bed, I'm sitting back at my computer, finishing up some editing. I feel like I am just at my desk all day today, but it's just one of those days. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what my daily routine looked like. Every day is definitely different, but I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please make sure you hit that red subscribe button if you're new. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.